this is far and far away from, oh, I'm about to bring this shoddy over to the crib so we can hook up. Let me cut on this JPEG Mafia, Danny Brown. She going to fuck with this. Yeah. This is going to get her. No. This is for the, that dumbass 14-year-old in, in 2023 who just happened to get a date with a girl and, and thinks he's going to be like, you know, like, oh, but if she's really, you know, down for the real me, she'll be down with hearing my, you know, dusty yeah. hip-hop uh, underground shit, you know? Yeah, it's like, nah, bro, <laughs> if you don't cut these schizophrenic beats off. <laughs> <laughs> Look, like, man, okay. Just, <laughs> let's get into it. <laughs> yeah, cause I so as we're I, I have to actually look at the lyrics through this because I've listened through it twice. And here's mm. let me say it off, off off rip. It's a great album. Mm. Um, the, I I can't describe why. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I think I, it's definitely a solid album, but it, it does feel a little like there's a bit of aimlessness in parts where it feels yeah, a little weird. Yeah, like, that I can't escape. You know. Yeah. Like it's it is truly it accomp it accomplishes what I think it seeks to do. But I sent it to my boy who who is like a musician and, and an artist and shit. And I'm like, I think it's really good. I think they played to a lot of their strengths in terms of like I really like Peggy's production because it's sort it's clearly JPEG Mafia's production. I think they yeah. work well together. I but it's I think maybe a, a weakness is it's kind of hard to focus. Like yes. it's well produced, but I think the production might overshadow whatever yeah. the intentionality of the because there's like that, some, that, that's some what nice it is. They get it. out. They get out. Uh, I they get out wrapped by the production, but like the- yeah, like they, <laughs> like the because the, that's part of Peggy's style is that like his rapping over beats kind of works in contrast to the the instrumental which i think works for yeah, him very and i think conscious. it works for it, danny yeah because he's producing the beat and so he's actively thinking about like yeah little yeah things to do i think the the strengths of the lyrics kind of get lost because you're you're trying to focus on two things at once and so it's like you gotta listen multiple times to be like all right what were they saying like even in the first song you know it, it it opens in silence and it's first off fuck Elon Musk eight dollars too much bitch that's expensive. Uh, 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 I mean that's a good line. That's a funny that, line. That, that's just like and that's so Peggy right? Like that's yeah. so just like oh yeah I'm just gonna jump out with this uh you know big news story thing that everyone's thinking about. And fuck like, it I'm just this, gonna say it. <laughs> this, like this makes me think of, of um in your best of for 2022 Black Thought where it's like you gotta have the lyrics in front of you when you listen to uh, this is like to catch everything is like. Oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> That's like now, now, here's my thing. Like, I'll have moments on this album where you know, because the production and like just the the insanity of Danny Brown's voice in like in yeah. conjunction with the the production, like it is such a presentation. Like, I'll have moments where I'll just be like, "This is fine that this is just happening," and I can tell that he's not really saying anything that deep. So the fact mm. that They'll have, like, all these... It feels like the beat gets Swiss cheesed, where, like, they'll just feel like there'll just be holes that'll be punched in and out of the beat and shit, where it's just, like, the point is that it's kind of discombobulating you, so you're kind of, like, just enjoying it on that level. So it's, like, sometimes that could be fun when it really leans into it, but other times, it'll just feel like we'll just be going for a while, and I'll be like, okay... I, he's not really rapping about anything, and the beat is just kind of jarring and off-putting, but not in a way that's, like, really pulling me in. So I just feel like yeah. we're just kind of floating around. Now, like... Thank uh, God lean... it's not that long, either. It's, like, just... Under yes, 40. yeah, it's, like, only about 36 minutes, uh, so he I'm does get in and get out. I'm glad they kept it concise, because it... Yeah, it, yeah. Like, I was driving home and starting it, and the because it's so kind of jilted production-wise... The transitions end up being kind of seamless because you don't know uh, when a song stops and uh, starts. Uh, uh, so it's like yeah. it's like a ping pong match <laughs> in another dimension. <laughs> yeah, like uh, like okay, so lean beef patty, I, yeah. I I liked well enough, but I feel like there's a song later on here that does what this is doing better, where mm-hmm. it's like oh, obvious old school like R and B sample, and yeah. then you know really fucking it up and flipping it up and. Like I feel like it, it's it's a cool enough intro here, but yeah, I something think it's a solid start. Um, something feels a little incomplete about it. I, I don't know. I, does it doesn't it feel like Danny Brown's voice, uh, verse just feels too short or something? Like yeah, um, 
uh, to quote JID, bring back the third verse, goddammit. But yeah. Right. Um, like uh, uh, it's it, it's a, yeah, how long is it? The the track's under two minutes. It it literally is cut short <laughs> as as an it's not a bad opener, but it's like I think they could have gone longer, but I guess I could also see with that the way that beat was used and like pitched up and warped that could probably get yeah. irritating if it went on for like a full three minutes. And maybe I, don't know. I like the, the I really like the like as that started developing, I was like, wait a minute, hold on. I'm <laughs> I'm actually liking this. 